Hello and welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today I'm going to go over some more basics of Objective-C. I'm going to cover objects and how to work with them. So let's go ahead and do that. Open Xcode and create a new project. Empty application. We're going to name it Savings. Account. Create. Now, what are objects first of all? Objects are representations of real life entities that can be easily reused. They consist of data variables and functions that can perform tasks both in the object itself and other objects. Variables and functions that pertain to an object are called member variables and member functions. Objects are contained in classes. And classes are like the blueprint for objects. They define the member functions and member variables. So before creating an object, we have to create a blueprint for it. So we start by creating the class. In order to do that, we're going to need .h and .m files or header and implementation files. Let's do that. Control click, new file. We're going to create an Objective C class. Check that these fields are the same, it has to be an NS object. Next. Keep it in your project directory, so go ahead and create it. Let's move this over here. Now, the header files are going to include the information for our function and the definition for our variables. Let's do that first. Use a bracket and let's define our variable. We're going to have balance. And what else will we need in an account? Well, we need a number. So in count number. Now we need a way to create an object to tell our computer or iPhone in this play in this case that it has to save some space in its memory for our object. In order to do that, we are going to create an init method. You initialize, you create it as follows. ID init with balance double number the account number. Let's go over this because it's a lot of new stuff. This negative sign here is basically saying that this method is an instance method and it's going to work with our object. This field here is telling that it's telling our Xcode that in case this method returns something, it's going to return an id type variable. We'll give it a look later. Init with balance and number here. What they are doing is they are basically defining the name or description of our, of our method. You can use whatever you want. However, it's, it's a good idea to use something that it's meaningful, something that allows you to differentiate this method from others. The next part are double and int in this case. In some situations, our method may need some extra information or some help in order to perform their function. In this case, we are going to set the information for our account. 
So we need to tell the method what information to use, what balance, and what it's the account number. And here, this is just the name of our balance variable and the account variable. It's usually a good idea to name it differently from the actual member variables. Now let's create some more methods to work with our object to get the information from it and to change it. First of all, set account balance. This is very similar to our previous method but this is going to work with a, an account that already exists. We also would like to change the account balance just by itself. So we're going to say void. This means that we are not returning anything at all. Set account balance double events. Same for account number. Now, let's create some methods that give us information of our, about our account. So let's say we want to see our account balance. So it's going to be double, because the balance is a double. Get account balance. And the same for our account number. And get account. Number. Finally, let's just create a method that displays all the information of our account. So, account info. Alright, now that we are done with the header file, let's go ahead and implement our functions, make them work. So, go to the implementation file. And let's just start defining the functions. First of all, id init. See how Xcode is filling it for us. So just press tab a couple times. Just bracket and let's define this function. First of all, we need to set some space in memory for our for object. So we need to initialize it and then eventually we will need to allocate the space in memory. So how we're going to do that is you say self equals super in it. Don't worry about this too much, just try to memorize it and work with it for a while. Self and now we want to set our balance to the balance we passed as a parameter before. So the balance and same for our account number. And since this is not a void method, we have to return something, we're gonna return self. I know this method's a little weird or hard to understand, but just go with it for a while. Now, let's go ahead and define our set methods. Set account balance and number balance equals the balance. See, much more easier than the one above. Now the account balance by itself. The account number.
and finally our get methods which are going to be double get account balance here we're going to say return balance so what this method is going to do it's going to output the balance of the account the method was called in and same for our account number get account number there we go lastly remember we wanted to display our information for our account so there was a void so account info now how do you display information how do you show some text to the panel to the command line in this case how you do it is you say ns log and then whatever you want to say you say add commas and we're going to send that account number is equal to our actual number so the way you do it you say that here we're going to have an integer and balance equals and here we're going to have a double you say percentage f now we have to say what that integer and what that double are so you say account number and balance there we go now that we have created our class files let's actually use them in order to do that we're gonna have to create a test implementation file so go ahead create a new class we're gonna call it test we don't actually need the tar h file this time so just go ahead and delete it also go to the supporting files and delete the main file we don't need either now let's move this around here and we don't really need to import test.h since we are not using it in fact it's giving us an error so what we are going to import instead it's going to be savings account this is going to allow us to use the information in savings account later so we're going to say int main int rc constant character pointer e bucket bucket now this is going to be read add how to release for and statements let's just stop here and go over what we just did in main well this line this is just the information the, it's just a method that will get executed when our application starts when our program starts the syntax is always the same so just memorize it see how it says int that means that it's going to return a an integer add auto release pool remember how I said that we need to allocate some memory for our objects well what we see is in the auto release pool will get deleted after our program is closed that way we can ensure that there's no memory waste after after application so let's go ahead and create the, the object first. The way you do that is you say the class, savings account in this case, star, this is called a pointer, my account. Now, my account, we want to initialize it and we want to allocate the memory for it. So the way you do that is you say my account is equal to bracket bracket savings account 
Auto kill. Close bracket. Init with balance. We're going to say 36. This person doesn't have much money. And the account number is going to be this one. Alright. What these brackets here mean? Brackets are the way we call methods on an object. So what these are doing? It's calling the allow method on savings account, and then it's calling the init with balance method that we created earlier. It's gonna be clear in the next example. Now, my account. So accounting for Remember this is going to let's say print the information of our account. Let's change it. My account set account balance. And let's say for each other. This will change the balance in our account. We'll have six extra dollars. I can set a number. We can also change the number to say two. And now let's show the information again. My account. So account info. Let's try it. Now this is, we are not creating an app, so this is just gonna look like this. But look here. Account number one and balance thirty six. That's from here. And finally, account number equals two and balance equals forty two. That's from here. So everything is working fine. I will have another objective C oriented tutorial, and then the plan is to just go ahead and start making knife and apps all on. I am. I'm sorry about this slower tutorials, you know Objective-C might be a little boring and it's a little tedious to learn the language, especially if you're not used to it, but since uh, these tutorials are made for absolute beginners, I thought it was a great idea to just cover the basics of the language before moving on and making really, really fun apps. So, thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.